Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here, just petting my sister's cat right now. So, uh, returning to you for the Wednesday versus video. Sorry for the lengthy delay for this Wednesday versus video. I've just been so busy outside of YouTube with things, uh, the new dog and all that. So, basically, uh, things are okay, but I don't know, just mentally eh, not in my right head space right now. I'm just in a funk a bit but other than that i'll go into explanation on how i'm doing in a different video um at a later time so pretty much this is for band versus band daughtry versus nickelback that i'm going to be talking about in this special video so i'm going to discuss what i am going to be talking about for which band i think will be the winner and let you know my thoughts on that so let's dive into this Wednesday versus video season three episode eighteen. Now basically, uh, I'm only doing it on my camera phone because I am gonna have to go somewhere very soon. Uh, pretty much, Daughtry has been a really has had a pretty good discography. I mean, baptized in um, the twenty eighteen album. Um, I don't know, those albums were okay, but not great. Um, I think when the 2018 album came out, which let me know in the comment section below what the name of that album was, because I completely forgot. But honestly, I think when uh, Dearly Beloved came out uh, a few years after that, that was probably them at their strong point. And they did a lot better. I think Chris Daughtry's vocals are really outstanding through um, most of their uh, whole discography. Um, pretty much, when it comes to Nickelback, I think the, the albums I really liked from Daughtry before I get to Nickelback, I think were the self-titled uh, Leave This Town, Break This Spell. Uh, baptize the 2018 album was hit or miss but dearly beloved was them at their strong point and pretty good track for what I went for or pretty good track pretty good album so it was them at their strong point at the peak of their uh, career so pretty much I think uh, Daughtry has grown to be one of my favorite um, pop rock bands that I really enjoy. They're kind of rock, but alternative too. But other than that, now we're going to get into Nickelback. With Nickelback, they had a good starting point. But honestly, their lyrics are a little cliche and kind of redundant. And slightly cringy from time to time. Like when... The feeding the, the feed the machine album came out. I think it was their ninth album. That's where I thought they were going to continue that saga, or something a little heavier like that. But when the album uh, "Get Rolling" came out, I'm oh, sorry about the background noise. My sister and nephew are playing around. Um, that's why you're hearing the background noise. So when "Get Rolling" came out, that was one of their worst releases today and i am so sorry about the background noise it's gonna be noisy in here um pretty much uh nickelback has proved to be one of the weakest bands i've listened to lately i like some of their albums but some of the lyrics they come up with for certain songs and just how they go about uh, with their music. There's some in your face. Cringy lyrics. And some other lyrics. That are pretty strong. But play it safe. So they're kind of a. Play it safe kind of band. Like they. Try with their material. But when. They have a good thing going. They fucking ruin it. With the last record. Because San Quentin was one of the worst tracks. I've listened to. Um, High Time was pretty bad. Skinny Little Missy is just... 
I mean, the instrumentation's pretty good, but the lyrics are kind of hit or miss. And, uh, just some other tracks, just, they're kind of a hit or miss band as of late. Uh, I don't hate Nickelback, but I think they're kind of in the middle with me. So if I were to choose a winner, in my opinion, I'm going to stick with Daughtry because I think Daughtry is worthy enough to be the winner. Uh, Chris Daughtry's vocals are better than Chad Kroger's vocals. Even though Chad Kroger has good vocals, I just think with how they go about their material, Nickelback, they play it too safe. And it's on the fence some of the time. Like, meaning it's hit or miss. You're going to have your songs you'll like from Nickelback and songs you'll really despise and hate <laughs> from Nickelback and be like, oh, they fucked up on this track. And a few songs they have lately. But overall, I choose Daughtry as the winner because I personally think they're much better, in my opinion. So that's going to be it for Wednesday versus Video Season 3, Episode 18. Daughtry will be the winner. And thanks for watching this Wednesday versus video.